What's good, YouTube? It's Pleasant, by the way, back with a new YouTube video. And you know what I'm saying? Console player. But now I got a new gaming laptop. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. So I added with touchpad, right? But I was trying to add touchpad on Fortnite, but it wasn't working, and I don't know why. So, but I found a way. I found a way for everybody. So, you know what I'm saying? Watch the video. Enjoy. Sub, like. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so first you open DS4 Windows. All right. Then now you go to Profiles. You make a new profile. You can get this little alert. You click Yes. You put it on DualShock 4. And you click Apply. Make sure you have a name. I'm just going to type something random. You know what I'm saying? All right. So this is the important. This is a very, very important part of the whole video. This is the whole point. All right. So you scroll down until you see, where is it? No, you actually scroll up right here. Left touch, right touch, multi-touch, and upper touch. All right? So whatever whatever um key bind on your controller that you do not use, for me, it is down D-pad. Down D-pad, I don't use nothing on Fortnite for it. So it's literally just a throwaway button, all right? And that's what we need. Whatever button that you do not use, all right? For me, it's down D-pad. So on left touch, right touch, multi-touch, and upper touch, you're going to click them, and you're going to put in the button that you do not use. So for me, it's for D-pad. So I'm going to click down here, down D-pad, down D-pad. All right, so now I have all of them on D-pad down. All right, and you also have to make sure you go to touchpad, output mode, controls all right and then now you're gonna put you're gonna click save all right make sure on selected profile you switch it to the one that you you were using that you just made all right so for this one it was vhv are you know what i'm saying and then now you're gonna open fortnite so then now you're gonna open up fortnite Right now, Fortnite is opening up for me, you know what I'm saying? It's a very easy process, so you can be able to edit on touchpad. Type, you know what I'm saying, if you made it this far. So you go to controller mapping. Make sure your thing is on PS4, and then you can update it later. So, like, make sure it's the controller platform is on PS4. All right? So, now you're going to want to go down until you see edit. So, I'm looking for it right now. Edit building right here. It's under edit. Edit building. So, now I'm going to show you guys. When you click, hold on. I don't know what that is. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me go back to Fortnite. Let me, um... Alright. So, I don't know what just happened just now. But anyway, you're going to click Edit Building. See my controller? I'm, I'm about to click Touchpad. Clicked it. You see what popped up? It says Edit Building. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so there's another. You can Make sure you save. And another pr no, more proof, when I click touchpad, it's going to bring me down. See, look. You see how it's scrolling down? That's how you know. Now, let's go into a map. I'm going to show you guys with me editing on touchpad. I'm, I can only use one hand, you know what I'm saying? Because the other hand is freaking, um, you know what I'm saying, recording on my phone. start as you can see it's plugged in see what i'm saying yeah 
So right here, see what I'm saying? Click on touchpad, boom. You're editing on touchpad on PC, on Fortnite. Remember, the down D-pad is the button that I don't use for my keybinds. So it's gonna be different for all of you guys, all right? But yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching.